Hello, I am Crazy C, and this is a book review by me. A topic of today is the recommendation of The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. What is there to say about this book that hasn't already been said a thousand sands, a thousand times into the sand? It's fun, exciting, unique, and boring. That's what I have gathered throughout reading and watching reviews of this book. And I have concluded that The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, it's uh, either a hit or a miss with most people. And me personally, I'm sorry about that little nod down there. I was looking at the book. Me personally, this book isn't very character driven. And anybody who has watched my videos before, um, you know me, I'm a character driven guy. I want my characters. But I will say one thing. Um, I'm going to read what's on the front cover. You probably have seen it. The Mortal Instruments series is a story ward that I love to live in. Beautiful. By Stephanie Meyer, um, uh, author of Twilight. To me, that right there sums up. This is a great story ward. I love it. I love the concept of the Saturday, hunt Saturday Hunters and whatnot. But the characters kind of fell flat on me. Uh, there's only two characters I really like. And that's Simon and Alec. And I really enjoy Alec over anybody. I literally was reading this book and it's like, where's Alex? Where's Alec? I really was, couldn't wait to read more about Alec. Um, possibly because of who he loves and who knows who he loves. And the whole aspect that Alec is... Very protective of Jace and Isabel. So, th this isn't the best. But I did finish it, I wanted to review it. And the only thing I have said to Cassandra Claire is uh, the other two installments, which I have not read yet, um, I do plan on reading them, is. They're better make me connected connect to the characters a bit more and not just one character but to all the characters in the book. I really want that connection. I love having a connection. I love like being able to read about a character and then, uh, physically feel like I don't want them to die. Like I really want to be holding them like not gonna die on me. And that's really what I was doing in this book with Alec. I literally, I was on my edge of see if he got in danger or whatnot. Um, Simon, same thing. I literally was kind of worried about him too. And that's why I want out of a book. Um, especially a book like that, an epic book like that. Um, I can understand why some people are probably upset that, okay, so he extended the series. And has a, a prequel series and a sequel series and she just keep writing the, this ward in the same way and honestly to me she can do that she can do that she, she did such a great job of setting up this shadow shadow hunters uh ward that she can make sequels upon sequels upon sequels of the series it'll get tiring yes but when she, she created the ward, she, she created in that image where she can make more sequels or more uh, books a part of that series. Like she really doesn't have to start uh, stop after uh, after the more than series. She can continue the series, which she is continuing the the um, whole ward. She's just taking it to a different direction. But. Uh, so overall, uh, I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars because of the lack of character attachment. 
I had I felt kind of felt like I needed not two points off, but with the amount of the war building, I think it was spot on and very appreciative. Um, the language, the writing style, um, was definitely well paced, and I enjoyed it. It was kind of long in some part, and she could cut it down a little bit, but overall, great great story. I highly recommend it. And I definitely don't continue it, but it's not like a high priority on my list to read. I got other books I want to read. I haven't bought in the uh, other two, so it's not a high priority on my list. But I definitely, I'm going to continue the series because I'm wanting to stick out this ride and maybe it get very good. If, if, but I will warn, I will warn, well, I really warn you to view it, but. I'm kind of warning myself that if I don't get my character attachment in the next two novels or the next four novels, basically the rest of the series, then I will dump this series and I got another series which is Dark Hunters by Sheldon Keenan, the author of Dark Hunters series and uh, Chronicles of Nick series. It has the same principle. You have shadow hunters or dark hunters, and they go around killing demons. So this isn't the only novel that I can read about that. So the the whole war building, great. Now let's see what Cassandra Clare does with this war. This is Rosario and Crazy signing off. Live and let live, and keep on reading. Bye.